but now we finished off the front of the treadmill, we're coming to the back of the treadmill to check the running mat here as well. So what we want to do is loosen off these rear rollers. There's two screws in here. It's normally a five or a six mil Allen key. What I like to do is start on the left hand side and this with your Allen key, this is a particular Allen key, but you might have the normal right angle Allen key. What you want to do is five full turns to undo it. That's one, two, three, four, five. In total, you want to do 10, but with the bolt being through here, we don't want to actually bend or break the bolt. So I do five on this side, and then I'll come to this other side, have that pointing up, and I'll do 10 on this side. So that's 10 full turns. And then I'll come back and finish off the other five here. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now that means the running mat is quite loose and we can get under there and have a look at it. Um, so with this, we'll raise this up. You might not be able to see that too well. I might get my, uh, my uh, drill. drill here's got a light on it so we can look. So there's a bit of a look a look at what uh, the running deck looks like. On this very edge here, you can see a bit of wear on this very edge here, which that's okay. This is really just from the edge of the running mat here, just curling over, which might have been a tension uh, issue or something like that. Or well, this one has done 27,000 uh, kilometers. I've done a lot of Ks as well. If this running mat felt like it was loose, I uh, felt like it was worn, or this black coating, the black varnish coating on the top here is worn out, what we would then want to do is feel underneath and double check from underneath whether the other side of the running deck's been flipped. So if it hasn't been flipped, the option for these ones, if we do have a worn running deck, is actually take off these side rail covers, undo the running deck itself, and then we can slide the deck out, flip it over and slide it back in again and then we get the use of the second side. Uh, in this case, this running belt itself, a running mat, looks fairly worn. You can see the groove marks where people are walking. So people would normally walk in this middle section here, not really to the outer side. So you can see there's some extra wear in the middle there. So it's showing signs of wear. It's okay for now. It is showing the, the, uh, the weave, the inner weave in the mat here, but these uh, sports art mats are very good quality, so they do last a long time. So unless it's wearing, on the join line, if I turn this. So in this case here, you can see that this join line here is coming up a little bit. Again, it is a bit of a safety thing. We should probably cut that off and then report it as being a fault. And we might get the customer to approve a, um, a replacement of the running mat. Uh, in this case, this does look quite warm. I'd probably suggest to the owner that we do actually replace this because if we did cut this off, then you're gonna find that there'll be a chunk out of it as well. So, uh, but in this case, what we're doing now is just lubricating underneath the, the running belt itself. So this is actually silicon. This is actually silicon, I've just got it in a, in a generic bottle, but it's a, a thick uh, silicon lubricant. And this is one of those brushes from uh, Bunnings again. It's a particular paint brush. It's got a bit of a right angle to it, which helps. And then what we'll do here, we come up from the side and then we want to lift up the side of the mat and then put the brush under here with the silicon on there to lubricate or we'll put extra on top of what the automatic lubrication system would do with this treadmill. So put it under there and then you're basically just painting it on to the deck itself, the wooden deck, don't worry about the, the mat, we're just painting it on the deck itself and I'll normally do two dips of it so it's sort of leaking off silicon and then just brush that in which helps with the lubricant there and then we can put it on the edge where it's wearing on this edge here just come up and down the edge mainly in this front section here of the mat you want to lubricate don't worry too much about down the back because down the back here is where people would obviously lift their foot so you normally want to put it in the the front uh, you know quarter of the way down to halfway down you want to put the lubricant in there. Um, so this is one side here. 
We repeat that for the other side as well. And this is a good way you can check the, the deck itself if it's worn. Uh, check the underside of the, the running mat itself. You can use silicon in a spray can, but it, it has been thinned out quite thin to, to spray out the spray bottle. So this stuff is a lot better. It's, it's a lot thicker. It's like tomato sauce consistency thickness. So it's quite good for a lubricant compared to a spray can. A spray can is good if that's all you've got, or if the gym members or owners want to use the spray, that's great. But for, for technicians or to do it properly, we should be using a silicon lubricant like this, which is a lot thicker. So that will basically complete the service on the treadmills. What we have to do is just tighten up this mat again, which in this case, we can see here it's slightly tighter on this side than on this side. So in the, in the lubricating I've done, it's so it's actually more over to the right hand side, which is fine, but in this case what we'll do, since the running mat is loose and I haven't tightened up yet, I can actually just stop on it here and then just move it to where I want it to be. And up here, you can see we've got these green tabs and this one's all, all red. So it's blocking off the, you can see the green tab there and this one's all red. So there's a green tab underneath there with this one as well if I kick it and then we can even it up and you can see the green tab on both sides. So with that, we know now that the, the running mat's lubricated properly. Uh, it's in the center of the treadmill correctly as well. And then again, starting from the left hand side, what we want to do is five turns to tighten up. So that's five. Come to this side, do your, your full 10. That's 10, come back here and finish off your second five. So that's now 10, so what we've done there, we've just loosened it off uh, by 10 turns on either side, and then we tighten it up by 10 turns as well, so we're keeping the same tension. And you don't want to leave the running mat loose for too long, it is, uh, it is a fibre material, so it will um, settle into itself as well, so you want to keep the tension on the dry belt, on the running mat itself. Then what we'll do is we'll just start it up and check that it's running true and correct. So here we'll do the six k's an hour, just to hurry it up. And then what this may do, the running mat itself may move to the left or it may move to the right. So what we're looking for is just to see how it settles into itself. We can see the tabs on both sides there seem to be about in line, so that's okay. It can be off by a little bit, but if it's, uh, if it's majorly off to one side, then we need to adjust it. And we can see here, it has actually come over to the right hand side and there's a bigger gap on the left hand side. So what we can do in this case, is if we come to the right hand side here, and then we'll tighten this right side, clockwise direction. So as you're in front of it here, you want to do a clockwise direction. I've done one full turn, and then, we, and then you want to wait like 10 or 20 seconds to see how much it's moved over. Uh, with this one, it's not moving over as much as we want. So maybe I'll do another half turn. And then you want to wait eight or 10 seconds to see if the gap here changes. And it, it, it's, it centers a little bit more. And then that's how we basically center the, the belt itself. This one, you can do this uh, step without doing the service. If you see the running mats off to one side, you can just tighten the right side if it's over to the right or tighten the left side if it's over to the left to then center up the, the running mat itself. So that completes a full service on a treadmill. Um, with this one, I've left the hood cover off but you might want to put the hood cover on if you're doing this belt alignment, just so you know nothing's going to get caught in there. There are some moving parts, and we do have live power in there as well while the treadmill's running. So it might be a good idea to have the hood cover on, but for me, I do it often enough that I can leave that off. Know that it's all right, make some adjustments in there if I have to, and then put all the covers back on, and then just do a final test again to make sure it's right. Um, and that's the service on a treadmill. This service can be uh, for any brand or model of treadmill. This one in particular we are servicing today is the Sports Art 2645. But you can you, uh, relate this uh, video to any, any treadmill, in particular uh, silicon-based treadmills. There are wax-based treadmills as well, which we don't have to do this 
waxing section of it, but we'll still do the vacuuming out and the blowing out and the talcum powder on the dry belt as well, uh, which will help with the noise there again. But uh, that's how we service treadmills. Thank you.